everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today you can see I am in a slightly different setting to what I have been most recently. There is an update on that, however, I will explain all of that in another video because it's kind of a long story. Anyway, so for today's video I thought I'd do something slightly different. I've been thinking of doing this video for a little while um, and now, considering everything that's gone on, it kind of makes sense to do it now, so I thought I'd get this one out of the way before... Uh, what I explain in my next video. So in today's video I'm going to be ranking all of the production shows that I've done over the four years that I've been a performer. I've done nine all in all, that's excluding any cab sets that I've done and any touring tributes that have come around um, the parks. These are literally just shows that either we as a show team have made up in my four years or the company have made up that we've had to perform. So. Yeah, there's nine all in all. I know that's an odd number. It's going to freak some of you out. Trust me, it's weirding me out. I wish I had ten, but I don't. I have nine. <laughs> so going to have to just accept that we have nine, guys. I'm basically going to rank them from nine being my least favourite to number one being my most favourite. And it's purely based on my own personal reasons. And I'm going to explain those reasons as I go. And I'm going to include footage of every single show as well. So... Pre-warning, you're going to see some footage of 2018 Shannon performing on stage professionally for the first time so i do apologize in advance for that but anyway let's crack on with the video starting with number nine my least favorite this may come as a shock to some of you it may not for others the concert show <laughs> and before you go <gasps> let me tell you why so the concert show has been running for all four of my years of working with that company all four years Guys, it's been done to death. It's been done to death. I've done that show with four different show teams. <laughs> For all of my professional experience, I've done that show. And as much as it may look like a really brilliant show from the other side, like my mum will always say, oh, I love the concert. Yes, we know. Everyone loves the concert. It's a brilliant show. It's chart music. It's pop music. Everyone loves it. But as a performer, not so much. The costumes, when I first had them, were great. Um, choreography, great. I actually think I, I actually really like the choreography. The songs, however, just don't suit me vocally. And I've just done it for too long. It bores me. I want something different. It bores me. So, number nine is the concert show. So, here's some footage of the concert show. The first bit of footage you're going to see is when I was 19 years old, most likely. I started doing the show when I was 19. I turned 20 in the season. So, yeah, it's a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a banging show, but for me, it's in last place. But here's some footage of the concert show.
concert show. Coming in at number eight, we have Halloween 2018, which was Halloween Spooktacular. This, <laughs> this Halloween show, choreography, brilliant. Love the choreography. Costumes, awful. Like, <laughs> actually disgusting. Song choices, eh. The only bit I liked in this show was the Adams Family section at the beginning. I loved that part. I loved that I was able to be Wednesday Adams and I literally had to dance with a straight face like this. I loved that. That was a lot of fun. So that bit I really liked, I'd do that part again. My main reason for this show being so low is that I barely sang. Compared to the other two singers that year, I barely sang anything and it was not fun. I think I got two verses of a song. That was my solo. So yeah, 2018 Halloween show, Halloween Spooktacular. That's coming in at number eight. Here's some footage of that so you can witness my reasons. Leon Adams. You need a grab a boy. of Halloween Spooktacular, my first ever Halloween show that I ever did in 2018. Number seven, this one actually started on my list at like number three or like number two. It slowly started to make its way down the list the more I thought about it. And that show is Supergroups. Supergroups was a show that I did in my first season and it included songs made by supergroups like ABBA and Steps and S Club. I bloody love Steps. I love Steps and I love S Club. So performing those songs was so much fun. The things I didn't like about it was that it was only a singer's show, which obviously gave us time to shine and we did get to dance as well, um, which was good. Um, but it wasn't a full show team show, so the atmosphere wasn't always there. So that was one downfall. Another downfall was that the costumes were horrific. I ended up being in the newspaper for these ones. <laughs> so yeah, costumes, absolutely not. Song choices, brilliant. And honestly, like, the reason it's so low is genuinely because the only good thing I could think of for this show was the song choices and that I love performing the songs. I'm always like, oh, I want to do Supergroups again. It's like one of my favourite shows. And I think about it, I'm like, the only reason I liked it was because of the song choices. I could sing those in the car. So that's why it made its way down. It did start at number three, but Supergroups made its way all the way down to the bottom. So apologies, Supergroups, I did try for you, but you're just not as good as the other ones. So that's why you're in at number seven. And here's some footage of Supergroups. <laughs> we have Totally 80s, um, which is one of the shows that the team currently do now. 
Um, we've done that one for three years since I've been there. It's the only season I didn't do it. It was my first season. And another one. It's just been done to death. Here's some reasons why I like Totally 80s. I get to sing and dance. So, win-win. Costumes, fabulous. Like, the original costumes are so good. Love them. That's honestly it. <laughs> the, the negative comments about Totally 80s is that for 80s songs, the best... 80s songs are not even chosen. The song choices for 80s were not great. There's so many other options they could have had to go in an 80s show that would have worked so much better. Another reason I didn't like it that much is because I have done it for three years. You do eventually find you get bored of shows. No matter how good the shows are, you get bored. And vocally for me, it wasn't great because it's 80s music. It's still pop music, but it's 80s music. And I'm not a very poppy singer. We all know this. So, yeah, that's why it's coming at number six. It's not a good or a bad show. So here's some footage of Totally 80s. Coming in at number five, we have Halloween 2019, which was called Halloween Horror. It's a really good show. The song choices were brilliant. The choreography was brilliant, like probably the best set of choreography I've ever seen. And it just, it filled the room. Like the whole show team when we did it were doing it. Like all the singers were dancing and it was just, it was just a really, really good show. The reason it's a little bit lower was the fact that we didn't gel very well as a team i wouldn't say in that in that show so if you were to look at it from the outside in it doesn't look as good as how i'm saying it is <laughs> so yeah halloween 2018 there's not really much bad to say about it and the fact that we could have performed it so much better like we didn't do the show justice if that makes sense i would love to give that show another go that's that's one that i would love to give another go so that is at number five. Here's some footage of Halloween Horror. We have Halloween 2020, which was called Marry the Night. This one, um, song choices, brilliant. Costumes were eh. Vocally, I think I can honestly say that I smashed it. I think when I got to that show, 
I think I, my vocal ability had just changed so much and I was really impressed with myself for like once. I actually got to perform a dance number, so I was so happy. I was in my element in that show, I honestly think it was like, like it showed me off quite a bit. Like it was an all round good show. The one thing that tops it off that makes it better than my 2019 show was the fact that everyone was in it. Like not even show team, like like the hosts were in it and the general blues were in it. it like my manager was in it and he's not part of show team. Like. It was a really good show and the vibe was so good because everyone was involved and it kind of gave the non-show team people an insight into what it's like to be in a show. Um, and it was just a really nice feeling on stage to have everyone involved. Oh, we also had some really good memories from this one because we had some props and some set malfunctions in the sense that the set fell onto Chantel, which was really scary at the time. Now we look back on it, hilarious. Um, and then we had the low fog machine, which <laughs> which caused some people to slip over, which we still laugh about to this day. Um, so yeah, that was full of lots of memories, um, and it was nice that everyone was involved. That's why Marry the Night is at number four, and here's some footage of that one. Don't forgive me, I've been running, running blind in truth. I'm a rain, I'm a rain, I'm a so the sweet I'm new. Number three um, is Limitless, which is a very new show. It started in 2020 um, and it's still going now in 2021. I would say that this version of the show, so the 2021 version of this show, is better than the 2020 version of the show. If you saw my last video, then you would know what Limitless is. It's practically a show for Liam to sing his favourite songs. He's the male vocalist there. And then he has his dancers and this was a show where I got to dance instead of sing which was challenging but really fun for me. The reason it's so hard on the list is because it's a very challenging show but it's so modern and it's so fun and it's quite sexy and it gives the show team a different vibe. It's a completely different vibe to any other show. The costumes are great, the choreography is great. Um, yeah, it's just a winning show. So that's why Limitless is at number three. I'll show you some footage of this one, but not too much, because obviously you saw it in my last video. And if you didn't see it, then go back to my last video and check it out, because some of the footage on there is really good. So this is Limitless. <laughs> At number two is Queen of the Night, which is an all-girls show that we did last year. Queen of the Night for me was probably one where I really got to show off my vocal ability. I started to understand myself more as a singer and kind of what I was good at and what I wasn't so good at and things like that. So it was quite a turning point for me, this show. Costumes were great when we had them. <laughs> We had a few malfunctions before that, but when we had them, they were good. The reason that it's not at the number one spot is because um, it had this section in the middle where we kind of just pulled numbers from the concert show and things like that to fit in, which never really felt very good. Like, 
The beginning of the show was incredible. We, we wore like purple wigs and all sorts. The opening and the first couple of songs to the show was amazing. And the finale and the last couple of songs to finish the show off were incredible as well. It just had this section in the middle where it was all over the place. And it kind of changed every show. Um, which was difficult and it never really felt like a very put together show for that reason. But Queen of the Night was a fab show. Definitely one of my favourites which is why it's at... Number two on the list, um, so here's some footage of Queen of the Night. Coming in at number one, um, which is my absolute favourite show, my favourite still to this day from throughout the entire years of performing, is I Wanna Rock, um, also known as The Rock Show, which I performed in my first season. It was the first ever show I performed. I actually performed this show as a dancer before I performed it as a singer, because I was hired originally as a dancer. I think I actually performed the show twice as a dancer. And then my role changed and I became a singer. So then I performed it as a singer. But it's just got a place in my heart really because it's my first ever show. And it just suited me quite well I think. It didn't at the beginning um, but it would now even more so. And I just would love the opportunity to perform it again. The whole vibe of the rock show was so good because everyone had, as silly as it sounds, everyone had a mic stand and a microphone whether they were live or not. So even the dancers had mics but they weren't live. It made it feel like everyone was really gelled and together in this show. And the amount of time we had to kind of make jokes at each other and laugh on stage was just amazing. It it just always makes me smile and it always have a place in my heart. And I just, if I could do one show again, it would be that one. I just love it so much. It was just one of those shows where you never really had to worry. Um, and you were able to just relax but also give it your everything. Because there was nothing, there was no quick changes as such. And... You just had your mic stand and you and it was just, everyone had one and you just looked after your mic stand and nothing could go wrong and that was it really and it was just a really good show, a really good vibe, uh, can't help but smile when I talk about it and I would just love to do it again so yeah, I Wanna Rock, The Rock Show from my very first season is at the number one spot and it will never move, I'm telling you now, it will never move, I still do um, songs from that show in my cab sets because they're the best. There's just so many memories from that show. So, yeah. So here's some footage of The Rock Show, I Wanna Rock, from my very first season of performing. This is gonna be Baby Shannon performing to you right now. My very first bit of professional performing, so good luck while you watch this.
that is all of my nine production shows that I've done ranked from nine to one. Um, if you don't agree, which you probably won't because it's so different when you watch a show to how you're feeling in it. Um, let me know what you guys think if you've seen them all. Let me know which, which show your favourite is if you've ever been to see any. Um, or even if you've seen the footage from previous videos. Let me know which your favourite is out of those. Um, and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.